Hello everyone, in this episode of Angular Pro Screencast, we will speak about route reuse strategy. To understand what route reuse strategy is, let's have a look at a simple application. We have a list of books and we can go to a specific book to see the details. Then we can go back, we can check another book, and so on. So basically we have two routes, list and item route. And for this component, I write down in console log each time when component is initialized and also when component is destroyed. Now let's have a focus on console. And I'm clicking back and forth, and as you see, each time list component is destroyed. And each time list component is regenerated again. Probably for some heavy enterprise solutions, it's not the best idea. And you would like somehow to cache this component, not to regenerate it each time. And that's exact the case to use route reuse strategy. You can create route reuse strategy just by overwriting provider by name route reuse strategy. And if you don't overwrite it, it will use default route reuse strategy. And here I just copied the code from the source code, link is provided here. So you can check what methods are there. And almost all of them are empty. So should we, should we detach the component, not destroy it? No, false. Uh, should we store it, just empty logic? Attach back, also false, and no logic to retrieve the element. Only piece of logic that we have here, if our route is the same, we just do nothing and reuse the route. So let's try to update this logic to make it possible to cache our list component. And here I created the strategy extended the base reuse strategy that we looked just here. So I would like to rewrite all the methods, overwrite them, and probably I'll reuse only this one. So should we detach to store the component? Here you can place your logic and say for which routes you would like to detach the component. And here for our simple demo case, I'm saying that it's only list. We're going to focus on list. Also, we need our store logic. I'm using map here to store in the map all our components. So by route, I store the components. To make it possible to check whether we have already cache, and if we have it, we can retrieve it from our map object. So now, Instead of default strategy, I can use my custom one. How it looks now? You see that list components is initialized. But also, as you see, when you go to a specific book page, list components is not destroyed. So when you return back, you use the same list components. It's super interesting in terms of performance optimization. You don't need to recreate components 